Hello and welcome to the Firebase demo. I'm going to take you through the app so you have a model for all of the things that it's supposed to do. So the first thing we're going to start off with is authentication and then we're going to go to the database. So we come up here to our Hello. Come up here. There we go. To our navigation drawer where we're going to log in. But first, let's take a quick look at our Firebase console here. We have users in the authentication section and we have uh, some data in the database section. I just wanted to show you sort of there's this sort of cool display where you can add and delete data from your database using this really sweet sort of mouse over motion. So I'm just going to delete this data in here. So I'm not going to delete the core database because I want that. But I'm going to get rid of all my users and I'm going to get rid of all my data. Delete this account. Okay. And then we're going to log in. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, first we're going to do anonymous login. We get our dialog box. And then if we come up here and take a look, oh uh, yeah, we're logged in as the anonymous user. Sweet. Now we're going to take a picture. And we see an, an awesome image of my hand, which we are taking a picture. We're going to call that a Q and the comment is hand. Hand? The comment should be hand. Let's upload that and just come over here and make sure uh, things make sense. We have to refresh. And yeah, in authentication, we do have an anonymous user. That looks good. And over here, uh, we have some photos for the anonymous user. Oh gosh, all anonymous users are, go <laughs> are going to share a single account. <laughs> okay, well, that was a mistake. Oh gosh, it looks like I uploaded the same photo three times too. Well, didn't really intend to do that, but uh, not so bad. That's uh, what demos are for. Okay, so if we come down here and we search for AQ, we are going to find this hand, and although you can't tell, uh, I'm actually cycling through more than one of those, just to, um, just to make this completely clear. Let's um, do another picture. With a piece of paper. Because the this cycling behavior is going to be independent of what user we're logged in as. So I've actually sort of switched from the authentication demo to the database demo. But here I'm still going to call this thing AQ and my comment is going to be paper. I'm going to upload it. Oh, and now actually we'll be able to see. So I'm searching for AQ and uh, another AQ, another AQ, and then AQ, but paper. And then back to AQ. And this, you might think, gosh, what the heck is going on? And if you go over here and take a look, well, this is what's going on. I uploaded three copies of the hand and one copy of paper. Okay, um, just to show you it can be done, I don't even have to, uh, if we search for one second ago, up to one second ago, we get nothing. If we search for many seconds ago, look, we get a hand and paper, all named AQ, just to show you that that search also works. Okay, let's clear our database. 
Uh, can, that was actually pretty sweet. In the background, I, I cleared the database on uh, my app, and you saw it totally get nuked in the background. That was uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, okay, I still have my anonymous user, and I actually still have these locally cached photos, which you know. Whatever, if I, when I clear my database, I could clear these photos if, if I wanted to. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's no, uh, none of these are longer there. Okay. So, back to here, let's log out as our anonymous user. So, we are no longer anonymous. We want to log in and uh, we want to create an account. And we're going to be a at a let's b dot com and our password will be one two three four five six do not use this as a password hit the tab key oh yeah one two three five six and we will create an account get a dialog box and yes we are now signed up as a at b dot com What's going on over here? Uh, we didn't get the, the sort of sweet real-time update for authentication. I think you get that for the database, but you don't get that for authentication. But it does look like we have uh, AFB.com. And for some reason, I can't understand. It's, um, you can't, they have, uh, I think, four fields that define a user, and you can't just display them, or so far as I can tell, you can't just display them here. Let's see, if we say add user, oh, I don't know. yeah, like there's display name, and that's, I don't know, it's not, you, you can't see what the display name is. Okay, so now that we're signed in as uh, a at uh, b.com, let's, uh, you know, we already have this photo, let's upload that photo, yeah, that worked. And uh, if you'll see, I actually changed the naming scheme from today at, uh, in class because somebody rightfully pointed out that by changing dots to underscores, I could create ambiguous situations where two different users get mapped to the same name. So I now map dots to at symbols, which are illegal uh, beside the one at symbol in your email address. So again, we have the user. Every user has a list of photos. This is a, a key generated by Firebase when we do a push. And here is my uh, photo object. So just to um, get another photo in there. We will take a photo of my hand. Sorry that I lack imagination. Let's see if we get the real, ooh, yeah, real-time update. Sweet. Okay, we got the hand photo, and so now if I search, we got paper, we got hand. Yeah. I think, uh, I think the point is becoming clear. I search by time. Uh, actually, so if I search by time, yeah, let's clear this. So if I search by time, I get the paper first. And if I search by name, oh, I also get paper first. Okay. Well, all right, and paper comes before hand in terms of time. Okay, so yep, that's all of that. Um, you know, exit of course works. Uh, I'm not gonna demo that. Oh, yeah, what the heck? I'll demo. Uh, exit. Come back, and I'm still logged in. Now let's just. Uh, that's basically the functionality that you're looking for, but let's just take a quick look at this awesome back button because I can come back from here, but I also fixed it so that if you go to create account, we still have a back button and, oh yeah, feels good. 
feels good to get back now if you want to get even crazier you're just thinking I'm just I'm just feeling nutty I'm gonna dismiss this on-screen keyboard and use the back button down here and I still get a hamburger but wait there is more come to the create account um, page use the the down here back button ah oh, so sweet to see that hamburger all right <laughs> this has been a tour of your navigation icon which i've spent an enormous amount of time thinking about as embarrassing a fact as that is uh but that also concludes our demo for this flipped classroom thanks very much everybody signing out